From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Dee O'Reilly. Greg D. will have your full forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. President Trump won Florida, but the presidential race, though, is still undecided. The president spoke from the White House just after 2.30 this morning, saying the results have been phenomenal and that he won states that he wasn't expecting to take the lead in. He also tweeted a message that was flagged for possibly being misleading. He claimed there's an effort to steal the election without providing proof. There are no reports of anything related to that. Former Vice President Biden won major Florida counties like Hillsborough, Palm Beach, Broward and Miami-Dade. He even narrowly won Pinellas County by just over 1,200 votes. Biden spoke to supporters just after one this morning, telling them be patient. Votes are still being counted. He believes there's still a path to victory and the 270 electoral votes needed to win. Florida Secretary of State is celebrating a successful election day. No major issues were reported. Laurel Lee is attributing that to hard work from election supervisors counting early and also mail-in ballots ahead of time. She also says that there were no successful cyber attacks on the state's election system. That's despite attempts, which she says happen often. Over the last two years, Florida has invested over $21 million in election security to improve our firewalls, our cybersecurity defenses to upgrade hardware, software. She says it's also too soon to determine if a recount is necessary, but she is confident it would be smooth and orderly if it's required. Amendment 2 passed and now Florida's minimum wage will increase incrementally to $15 an hour. It'll first increase from $8.56 to $10 an hour. It'll, it'll then increase $1 each year until it reaches $15 an hour in 2026. Economic experts say minimum wage increases help some people but hurt others. They say there may be better ways, including job programs and training for high-wage careers. If you're feeling stressed because of the election, you are not alone. Doctors who treat PTSD say the political landscape, landscape is adding to the anxiety that so many of us are already feeling, all because of the pandemic. Some people might not meet the criteria for a PTSD diagnosis, but they can still experience irritability, even panic attacks. To cope with election stress, doctors say get exercise, talk with your friends, get good night's sleep as well. Good quality sleep can make all the difference. Greg D, I plan to do all of those. Not in that order. Sleep comes first. Nice walk outside today, Dia. Two would do wonders, especially with the weather as nice as it is. Temperatures right near 80 degrees for the afternoon. That's actually where we should be for this time of year. The humidity is going to stay low with our dew points in the upper 50s. And there's going to be a nice dry breeze throughout the day, too, at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And just a couple of scattered fair weather clouds popping up during the afternoon. I am thinking rain chances are increasing now as we head into the weekend. You can take a look at that forecast by downloading the free ABC Action News app. Dia. Thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.